Are you thinking of moving to Montreal and want to know the pros and cons of living here? In this video, I'm going to break down my top 10 pros and cons of living in Montreal. If you're having trouble deciding on whether to make the move, this video is for you. Also, if you stay till the end, I'll also break down the pros and cons of the real estate market here. My name is LJ Ginaga. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to work, sleep, play, and live in Montreal, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to get notified each and every time we do a brand new video. We actually get a lot of people reaching out to us who are looking to relocate to Montreal, and we absolutely love helping them on their journey. So if you're thinking about making a move and you have questions about the market, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, because when it comes to moving to Montreal, we've got your back. So let's dive right in. Let's start off with the pros. Let's talk about cultural richness of Montreal. Montreal is known for its vibrant multiculturalism. The city hosts numerous festivals, cultural events, and boasts a diverse culinary scene, making it a cultural haven for residents. Honestly, this is one of the reasons why I have chosen to stay in Montreal. I love food. All the options we have for food are absolutely incredible. We have some of the best restaurants in the world located in our backyard, and most people don't even know about them, which is awesome. The pricing is also super affordable, which is fantastic. I'm also a huge F1 fan. So we have tons of events like F1, like the Jazz Fest, like the Just For Last Festival, you name it, we have it, Mural Festival. Like we just fill up with so much life and vibrancy throughout the city that makes it really, really special. And for people who love art, well, we have some incredible museums and we also have these awesome expositions that come to Montreal all the time. Next. We have affordable education. Montreal is home to several prestigious universities and colleges. Tuition fees for Quebec residents are relatively low, making higher education more accessible. Now this point really hits home for me. I remember being a university student, not having much money at all, and it only cost me about $3,500 a year to attend McGill. McGill was ranked in the top 25 universities in the world. So the fact that we were getting this education for that price really didn't make much sense. It still doesn't make much sense to me, but we get to benefit from this as a Quebec resident. Now. Let's talk about healthcare. The city offers excellent healthcare facilities, including state-of-the-art hospitals. Access to quality medical care is considered one of the city's strengths. Now, the access to healthcare is absolutely incredible. You can go to any hospital, everything is already included as a Canadian resident, even as a PR here. So the system we have is very, very special. I will forewarn you that it can take a very long time to be seen and finding a general practitioner for yourself is next to impossible these days. So it does come with its own set of hiccups. However, the fact that we have access to this care and the fact that our facilities are so state of the art and top of the line, whenever you actually do have a serious issue, you get put to the front of the line and get taken care of the entire time. Now let's focus on public transportation. Montreal's public transportation system is highly efficient with an extensive network of buses and a subway system. This makes commuting in the city relatively easy. I can't stress this enough. Getting around the city, whether you're taking the metro, a bus is super, super simple. I even love taking the Bixie to get around from time to time because we avoid most of the traffic congestion, especially during festival season when we have a lot of road closures, when you don't know what's going to be open or not. Taking the metro makes things super streamlined and super easy. It's really a lifesaver. Let's wrap up the pros with bilingualism. Montreal is a bilingual city with a significant portion of the population being fluent in both English and French. This offers residents the opportunity to enhance their language skills. Now, I can't thank Montreal enough for this. The fact that I can speak multiple languages has always been a pro for me, whether it's here in Montreal, whether it's when I'm traveling, I can communicate with more people, I can get myself understood, and it really just adds a nice flavor to life. I love having that as an option, and I really appreciate the fact that this has been presented to me through living in Montreal. Okay, now let's focus on some of the cons of Montreal, and we have to open things up with our harsh winters. The city experiences cold and snowy winters, which can be challenging for those not accustomed to the cold climate. Snow removal and icy conditions can affect daily life during the winter months. Now, a lot of people have written off Montreal altogether because of this. However, I think that it's quite charming to have the option to go skiing and snowboarding and snowmobiling for a portion of the year. The fact that we have our seasons so well marked out is really important to me, and I think it's actually something fun about Montreal, but I completely understand that this keeps a lot of people outside of our beautiful city. Next, most people can't stand our high taxes. Quebec has some of the highest taxes in Canada, which can impact your overall financial situation, including income tax, sales tax, and property tax. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't like this as much as the next person. The tax man makes sure to get their fair share of money. But the reality is, the fact is, we get a lot of services in exchange for these things. Sometimes it's difficult to get these services, but we have to remember that they do exist and they are available to us if ever we actually need them. Third con on my list is a language barrier. While bilingualism is a pro, it can also be a con for those who aren't fluent in both English and French. 
Some job opportunities and services may require proficiency in both languages. And to be quite honest, the more I live in Montreal, the more I realize that I really do need to have a strong understanding of the French language as well, because more and more you see people who actually don't speak both languages, or I see that I'm getting better service or I'm better understood when I speak in French. So if you do have both languages under control, you can definitely get a lot further in some of the processes, particularly the bureaucratic processes that we have to deal with in this province. So I definitely think that you want to be proficient in both languages to get the best service possible. Fourth on my list, and this one really hits close to home for me, is traffic congestion. Montreal is known for its traffic jams and road construction, especially during the summer. Commuting can be a frustrating experience for some residents. Now, in Montreal, we say that there's two seasons realistically. We have winter and construction season. The reality is, once the snow dissipates, just about everything goes under construction. We have these wonderful orange cones that paint the entire city, and it can definitely make it a bit more complicated to navigate the city. Most people who don't live downtown even avoid it altogether because they don't understand how it's working, what's going to be open, what's going to be closed, and it causes a lot of stress when driving. So if you are a driver, you have to be prepared for traffic congestion and construction that's going to slow you down. Fifth on the list is going to be economic disparities. While the city offers numerous cultural and job opportunities, there are economic disparities and income inequality exists within the population. Now, I do think that this is pretty much going to be seen anywhere in Canada. You're going to have people who are earning more, some people who are earning less, but the fact that Montreal is a relatively inexpensive city compared to most other Canadian cities means that we see a lot more of this. And obviously with the price of real estate having gone up a lot over the last couple of years, people are definitely feeling that crunch a little bit more than they had in the past. That wraps up my pros and cons of living in Montreal. Now let's focus on the real estate pros and cons. Starting off with the pros, affordability. Montreal's real estate market is relatively affordable compared to major Canadian cities like Toronto and Vancouver. You can find a range of housing options at lower price points. Now, this really hits home to me as well because we work with people all over the place. We work with people who are buying their first property to people who are investing in larger properties as well. The fact that we can still get families into properties for under $400,000 relatively close to the city, I think is a pretty impressive feat. Second on the list, we have diverse housing stock. Montreal offers a diverse range of housing options from historic homes and neighborhoods like the Plateau Montréal to modern condos in the downtown core. I love seeing the different range of properties that we have. Sometimes we walk through properties. Most recently, I saw the property that was built in 1850. So we're talking about something that's over 150 years old that was filled with character and charm. And then we also get to walk around some very modern homes in the suburbs that were just built in the last couple of years, or even some of these beautiful downtown condo towers. The juxtaposition of the old and the new in the city, I think is one of the best features that we have here. Third on the list, we have cultural and vibrant neighborhoods. Montreal is known for its unique neighborhoods, each with its own charm and character. Whether you prefer lively urban settings or a quiet residential area, you'll find a neighborhood that suits your lifestyle. The fact that we have so many different neighborhoods in Montreal that are so close to each other and offer a variety of options in terms of lifestyle, I think is really, really cool. Whether you're in the plateau and you like to hang out with the cafes and kind of more of that hipster vibe, or you want to be in the old port and really get some more history, or even going to the suburbs and getting some of that suburb life when it comes to larger shopping centers and more parks and all that good stuff, there's really something for everybody here. And in all of these neighborhoods, you're still a reasonable commute from downtown for work if that's the case. Fourth on the list, we have a very strong rental market. Montreal has a significant rental market, making it a great place for real estate investors. The demand for rental properties remains steady, providing consistent income potential. Now, I'm a landlord myself, and I see this every single day. We very rarely have vacancies, and even when a tenant gives us notice that they're not going to be renewing, it's very easy to re-rent the apartments. Obviously, having an apartment that is well-maintained is going to go a long way in the facility to rent a property out. But even when a property is not that well-maintained, as long as the price makes sense, just about every property rents in Montreal very quickly. To wrap up the pros of the real estate side of Montreal, we have a stable market. Now, Montreal's real estate market is relatively stable with gradual price appreciation. It's less susceptible to the extreme fluctuations seen in other Canadian cities. I remember being at a conference last year and I was talking to a colleague that was in Toronto and they were talking about the fact that prices were down 30 to 40% over a three month period. And I could not believe that. Hearing about a 30 to 40% drop in pricing over such a short period of time, even just in general, is something I've never seen in Montreal. We've had interest rates spike, even with most recent correction, pricing only shifted about 10% at its worst. So Montreal is a lot more stable because of that. It obviously means we're not going to see such high swings as well, but we're protected from any big downfalls, which I really appreciate. Moving on to the cons of the real estate market of Montreal, we're going to open things up with bidding wars. 
In recent years, Montreal has seen an increase in competitive bidding wars for desirable properties, driving up prices and making it challenging for some buyers. This has really been the reality of Montreal. Up until this year, really 2020, 2021, 2022, people were going into multiples for just about every single property. It was really tough to be a buyer. We didn't even have proper pricing strategies because fair market value said one thing, but the properties were always selling for more because people really just wanted to get into properties. So that part is, to be honestly, behind us now, which I really enjoy and really appreciate. It could come back if interest rates drop down, but it's definitely something that hurt a lot of people trying to get into the Montreal real estate market over the last couple of years. Next, we have property taxes. Property taxes in Montreal can be relatively high compared to other cities in Quebec. It's important to consider this cost when purchasing a home. Now, I'm almost blind to this at this point because I only work in Montreal. I really focus my energies on that and I know what taxes are here. I haven't been comparing things across all of Quebec, but after a bit of research, we did see that we do pay higher taxes. And I suspect it's because we have more services in the city and there's obviously more demographic to cover. So it's a reality of it. We get what we pay for to a certain extent. We always want more, but it's just part of the process. Third, the winter weather. Now, the winter weather isn't just a problem for wanting to move to Montreal, but our harsh winters can be so deterrent for some buyers as snow removal and maintenance can add up to home ownership costs. And the reality is, I just prepared my home for the winter recently. You wanna do a lot of things to prepare to avoid any water infiltrations, to make sure your home is properly insulated and really keep your heating and electricity costs down through the winter months. So it comes with a bit more work. However, like I said before, it means we have a variety of seasons and get to enjoy different parts of life. Now let's talk about language considerations. While bilingualism can be a pro, it can also be a con for some buyers, especially if they're not fluent in both English and French. Language can impact various aspects of the real estate transaction process, particularly documentation, which is typically only available in French. A lot of the time when we're looking to buy a condo, we have a declaration of co-ownership and a couple of other documents that are usually only written in French. I've had clients moving in from BC or from Ontario and they ask for this documentation in English. Unfortunately, it does not exist. So you can pay for a translator to professionally translate the whole thing. But when you're dealing with a 75 page document of translations, it's sometimes not really the best thing to do or the best process to take. So ideally you go over everything and you are proficient in French in order to understand it. But if not, you can sit down with your real estate broker, review the documentation to make sure you understand anything. And if there are any outstanding questions beyond that, feel free to contact a lawyer to get all the information you need. This wraps up my pros and cons of living in Montreal. I hope you found this list helpful. Let me know in the comments below what's your biggest pro or con of living in Montreal. If you have any specific questions on living in Montreal, feel free to contact me. It would be my pleasure to discuss it with you further. Thank you so much for watching.